Hey guys, welcome to this month's video for RT Trio. Um, yet again, I've pulled out a few supplies that I don't use often or haven't used in a long time, i.e. rubber stamps. How many of you all have loads of rubber stamps and because we all used to do scrapbooking and card making and they just are sitting in your closet and you haven't touched them? Just FYI, you're not alone. And I am a former rubber stamp designer. Like, I haven't, and I say former because I just haven't designed any in a while. Um, I have a few sets still in my Etsy shop and I have some purge boxes also in my Etsy shop that have rubber stamps in them and stencils. I also design stencils. Anyway, if you want some of that, um, the purge boxes are still available and the um, few things that are in my shop, that's all that I have. So grab them while I have them. Anyway, I pulled out one set of stamps from my collection. I really, this particular one is one of my favorites. Um, I pulled out some paint inspired with the mood board, which we'll go over in a minute. I have some water soluble crayons and these tempera paint sticks, which these are brand new. I haven't used them much, but I do want to use them. These, I can't remember the last time I used. I've got Neo Colors in here, and there's some Daniel Smith watercolor crayons in there too. Ah, anyway, this is this month's mood board uh, curated by Bea Grob, and I love the ocean themes. Uh, if you've been following me on social media, you know ocean theme things is my deal right now. Um, I love the pinks and the greens, also the um, inspiration of the mosaic tiles and the this color wheel, which also is sort of mosaic e for me, um, the outdoor scenes. I, yeah, it's interesting, very interesting. So we're gonna see where we can go with this. I am, as usual, going to tape this onto one side and reserve that spot for notes. This is my art experiments journal. And on the other side, we're gonna do the artwork. Um, I was initially gonna use the black side, but I actually think I'm gonna do this and I'll do my notes in white gel pen. That's not normal for me, but that's what we're gonna go with. That's where my instincts are telling me. So, let's get to painting, shall we? And creating and doing something on here. All right, I'll be back.
guys, there you go. It's sort of an abstract, oceany beach scene in the colors from the mood board with a little bit of inspiration from the mosaic tiles. And I really like it. But then again, I'm really into painting beach things right now and abstracting them. That's kind of my bag, but anyway. I would love to see what you guys do with this month's mood board, especially if you kind of are up to it and give yourself the extra challenge of pulling out those supplies that you haven't used in a long time and seeing what you can make with them in your journal. I would love to see what you do. If you would like me to make sure I see your posts, uh, please tag me uh, over in the Facebook group for the Artsy Trio. We do have one. The link for it is down below if you haven't joined yet. If you make a video about the mood board, I'd love to see that too. Make sure you tag me, send me the link, whatever, you know, all those things. Um, yeah, this was a lot of fun. All right. I can't wait to see what you all do with it and what the other two teachers do. This is it for today. Don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Have some fun painting in your journal. I hope the mood board's inspiring and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.